this has been two very grueling rounds for both fighters. It's been a very exciting fight. We've seen a change of pace in both rounds, and I would say an even fight heading into round number three. At this point now, it's anybody's fight. I would have to agree. Yeah, at the very most, I, I could even give that round, Darius, a 10-8 round, but no, no judges are doing that yet. No, no. You know, it's basically whoever, unless you bludgeon somebody for half a round, you're not getting a 10-8 round. Excessive strikes. Yeah. <laughs> Assuming the conditioning is what we thought it was at the beginning of the fight, would Darius Helliger have the upper hand going to round number three, even just with finishing round number two so strongly? I think so. He, he, Pierre had to expend an awful lot of energy down below trying to get that takedown. I'd like to see him come out and do the same thing he did in the beginning of the, the first two rounds yeah. with, that, with those leg kicks. Yeah, just kind of punish him and move, punish him and move. I hope his coach told him don't do any more takedowns because it's not working. Round number three, Pierre coming out those leg kicks again, sticking to the same strategy. We'll see if Darius is a bit more aggressive in round number three. He really started to turn up the energy at the end of round number two, and we'll see if that carries over into this third and final round. Both fighters really have to be aggressive. This is it right here. You want to make an early, strong impression and try to win this round. You can always steal a round late, but it certainly helps to get off to the good start. And now we see both fighters again in that familiar position of the opening minute of each round, just trying to feel each other out here. And Pierre again working those leg kicks like he's done so much throughout this fight. And it seems again like Darius just picking his spot, waiting maybe for that big knockout punch or maybe a chance to get that takedown. Though Pierre really doesn't leave himself open too, too much. It doesn't seem. He seems like he's got good defense and doesn't really leave himself wide open when he throws those punches. You know, he, he's kind of, like I said earlier, he's kind of leaning in uh, with, his, with his right hand. He's not letting his feet close the distance for the punches. Yeah. Doing a beautiful job with it, with yeah. the kicks. Phenomenal. But with the punches, I, I think Darius will be able to, uh, he'll be able to counter if he can just kind of, you know, kind of feint him in and, in and out. Oh, a couple nice of haymakers there shot. and a great, like you said, great body shot from Pierre to the midsection of Helliger. Pierre's also swimming his punches. Yep. Like, like Alex said, he's leaning, but he's swimming them. His, his hands dropping. That might just be fatigue, though. 324 to go in round number three. Neither fighter has grabbed the upper hand yet in this round. So Pierre keeps we'll, backing himself up against the cage. I'm surprised Darius hasn't attempted to take down himself. I think getting kicks in the legs is slowing that down. Yeah, especially the way he was so dominant on top in that second round. Holy cow. You know, like right now, it's just a perfect position for a double leg. Blow right through him. You hear the corner telling him, throw that combination. He's using that right hand to set up the big overhand left. Again. Short hook, overhand left. That seems to be the combination that Darius prefers, though we haven't seen a whole lot of it tonight. And part of that is certainly Pierre's defense. Oh, he's catching him with that left hand, with his lead right. Oh, that was another beautiful. harsh leg. Oh, that was beautiful. Those kicks are hard no matter what. And those do soften you up after a while. Yep, absolutely. Another one. Oh, his coach is not lying when he says that. Yeah, I'd have true. to agree with him. I do agree. Pierre is starting to gain some leverage, but here comes Darius with a couple of blows. Now oh, Pierre going for the takedown. Take down. Now, get wow. to your feet, Pierre. Do not you hang out there. That was a nice time to slow him down from punching you in the face. Now get up and get out of there. Darius does a nice job of countering and now trying to get that choke again, perhaps like he tried to do at the end of round number two, working those legs to gain some leverage. He now has him on the side, delivering some sharp blows to both sides of the head with that overhand right. And now he has a reversal trying to get that choke in, but it's not in deep enough at this point. He's got that body triangle in, so he's... He's got the lower body, at least, yep. set for oh. now. He's got to try to get that choke so in That's there. not fun when you're tired. Darius just trying to, or rather, Pierre just trying to hang on for dear life. 142 to go. Can Helliger get this choke in deep enough? He's trying to soften up those forearms and drop his guards so he can sneak that up, that hand in underneath the, the neck. If Pierre plants on both of his feet and drives, he might get a cheesy leg lock off of him. You can see Pierre just, just, Pierre just trying to wrap that hand around his neck. Just yeah. don't let him get underneath with the choke. Dagger is trying to regain control of this round from Pierre. 117 to go. And we could be setting up for a dramatic finish here one way or the other, either by decision or possibly a stoppage or something that could go down here when you get into this position. One minute now to go. Darius Heliger just trying to get leverage. We go about another 30 seconds of trying to get the submission. And after, a, after that, I'd, I'd try to just end the fight. I'd, I'd like yeah. to see Darius put him on his stomach, keep the body triangle in, and just and just Pounder. throw punches. Yeah. Just throw punches to finish the round strong. And that may be the best approach, just to steal it at the end. Just even to if, steal even it if at the, the end. Even if the bell rings, just steal that end. You steal that round in the final 30 seconds. We've seen it so often. 
Yep. There he goes. Well, this is bad. Sneaks it in there. This is bad. Now he's got his hands. Can't lock his hands. That left he's arm is hard, underneath. though. He's fighting it. He's out of it. He's yep. going to get out of it. No, he's yeah. good. His chin's protected. Pierre's yeah. going to break out of this one. Let's get it, Darius! Pierre using that right hand to try to just soften up Darius. Maybe Man. break that hole. Watch those fingers in the eyes, buddy. Now's the time. Roll him over on his belly and just throw punches. 19 Win the seconds round. to go. And there is Heliger just unloading in this final 10 seconds, maybe trying to get something in there to steal the round in the yeah, end. Tough one to call, but I think maybe Heliger's got this one. Yeah, he's got this by a lot, I'd say. Same deal if, if it was an ideal world, I'd say this is even a 10-8 round. Well, there you have it. That's the end of this one. Ladies and gentlemen, having completed the scheduled distance of three five-minute rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for your official decision. All three judges, Paolino, Asmar, and Minor, score the bout exactly the same way, 29-28 for your winner by unanimous decision. In the red corner, Darius Helliger. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're with Darius Helliger. Two professional bouts, two wins. This one goes the distance, 15 minutes of action. It seemed as though at one point in the fight, you almost had the rear naked choke submission. Hey man, Perry Pierre is a tough dude, man. I tried to lock the choke in. He was kind of slippery, but I tried my hardest. And I, I took this fight on short week notice, man, with an injury too. So I came in for my heart out for you guys too. So next time I come back, I promise I'm gonna go show for you guys. But thanks Perry Pierre and the CSS for the show too. The, uh, it seemed as though at some points in the boat, uh, you had a little trouble finding your range. Uh, tell us what you thought at that part of the fight. Man, I thought if I would hit this guy, I'm gonna lose. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I did have trouble finding my range for some reason, man. I don't know what it was, to tell you the truth. I have no idea. Conditioning paid off late in the fight, 15 minutes in the cage. Oh yeah, I went through a hard training camp for this, man. Thanks to my to, to, to team, Bomb Squad, Ryan C. Totally for putting me through a hell of a training camp. So yeah, it did pay off. All right, from Team Bob Squad making the trip down from New York, his second professional bout, his second professional win, Darius Helliger. Thank you.